What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mr. Zero to Infinity for episode 49. Big news on the merger front. Hylion Inc. will be merging with Tortoise Acquisition Corp. The press release stated SHLL stock will remain on the New York Stock Exchange under the new ticker symbol HYLN stock, and the merger is expected to close around the end of the third quarter of 2020. If you've been following along with my episode series of documenting the journey of growing one of my stock portfolios from zero to infinity with 10 plus years of investing experience, you already know we discussed VTIQ stock, which merged to Nikola stock a couple episodes ago. Those episodes received the most likes out of all 48 videos on the channel. So for this episode, we'll discuss SHLL stock, which is getting compared to what happened with Nikola. Up to this point, my episode discussing VTIQ stock titled The Next Tesla received 316 likes, which is the most likes we received on one video. Let's see if this episode called SHLL stock, The Next Nikola, will surpass 300 likes as well. Once again, thanks a ton for growing the channel. Subscribers continue to be added, so for anyone new, Thanks for your support with your likes and comments. Feel free to subscribe if you're looking to grow your stock portfolio from zero to infinity as quick as possible as well. Quick recap of what this episode will be covering. After we discuss Tortoise Acquisition Corp and Hylion, I'll wrap up this episode with a portfolio update as I do in every episode, and I'll discuss the trends I'm seeing right now for each stock. Remember, the stock portfolio started at $0 at the beginning of the year and deposits will continue to ramp up as time goes by. Up to this point, I have yet to sell any shares in the portfolio. Before I go over my thoughts, opinions, and commentary on finding the latest trends to build wealth in the stock market, remember, all my episodes are for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor and this episode is not intended as investment advice. This is not a recommendation to buy or sell securities. Always do your own research prior to making any investments. I have my own unique investment goals and time horizon, which will be much different from you. That's the great thing about investing. Everyone has their own unique risk tolerance when growing wealth in the stock market. So let's get straight to it. The reason you clicked on this video, SHLL stock, the next Nikola NKLA stock. For anyone that isn't up to date, VTIQ stock had a lot of buzz surrounding the merger news with Nikola Corp a couple weeks ago. Nikola is now trading as NKLA stock and now there's a new name trending, Tortoise Acquisition Corp SHLL stock, which announced the merger news with Hylion Inc. Everyone knows what happened with VTIQ and NKLA stock. You'll notice Vecto IQ Acquisition Corp shot up from around $10 to $33 and then Nikola stock hit a high of $93.99 per share earlier in June 2020. Based on one of my research techniques, which I call social media awareness, everyone on StockTwits, Reddit, YouTube, and Twitter wants to know if SHLL will be the next Nikola stock and go up in value over the next couple of weeks and months short term versus having a long term outlook. Unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball to predict the future, but now that we have a new merger on our hands with SHLL stock and Hylion, let's go over what I'm seeing right now. Even Nikola's founder Trevor Milton tweeted about Hylion since he was receiving a few questions about Hylion's business model. Quick thoughts about stock trading. I get it. When I first started investing 10 plus years ago, there's a lot of excitement around short-term stock trading, especially now that there are $0 trading fees. There's a thrill when you see a cheap stock less than $15 jump over $50 in a short period of time. What I learned is that stock trading is a constant hunt for the next best trade versus holding a stock long-term and watching it grow in value for years versus minutes or hours. Traders speculate on headline news and large volumes of trading volatility. In my opinion, that type of trading philosophy is comparable to gambling if you have no clue what you're doing, so be careful out there if you're looking for quick money. 
I know a lot of people out there like trading a stock ticker on their screen, but if you've been following along with the channel, you know I fully research any company I add to any of my stock portfolios since there's a real company behind the stock symbol that goes up, down, and sideways each and every week. I'm still doing research on Hylion, so I'll discuss a few of my personal notes from all the information I could find up to this point. That includes Hylion's website, interviews, found online, and the list goes on. I've been curating a ton of content in the last couple of days, so if this video gets enough likes, I may have to do a follow-up episode with a couple more thoughts. First, management. Thomas Healy is the founder and CEO of Hylion. Based on my research, Hylion was founded in 2015, and Thomas will continue as CEO of the combined company. Hylion essentially brings hybrid electric technology to tractor trailers. In a presentation I found online, CEO Thomas Healy compared Hylion as the Tesla technology to tractor trailers. Hylion currently focuses on a hybrid electric diesel truck option in which it replaces one of the passive axles of a diesel truck with an electric drive axle, a battery pack, and a control system. Thomas said the product captures wasted energy when going down a hill or slowing down and stores that energy in the battery pack. By using that stored energy, a diesel engine doesn't have to work as hard and there is a reduction in fuel usage. Very interesting business model. Thomas said the advantage to the product is that it's considered an add-on system. There's a ton of diesel tractor trailers on the road, so any company with an existing fleet of trailers can retrofit with the Hylion product. And I heard Thomas say it could take one to two hours to install and it could fit on all trailers on the road. Thomas broke down the cost of the product and those numbers can be found on Hylion's website. It appears there is a cost savings, but I'm still researching the facts compared to what the CEO is saying. There have been earlier adopters already using the product in the flagship fleet program as the company rolls out the technology. As discussed, it was announced that Tortoise Acquisition Corp or SHLL stock will merge with Hylion and the company will be called Hylion Holdings Corp, remaining on the New York Stock Exchange under the new ticker symbol HYLN. Transaction overview in the press release states the pro forma implied market capitalization of the combined company is over $1.5 billion at $10 per share. Based on Hylion's investor relations page, the most recent press release mentioned the proceeds from the merger will be used to fully fund the commercialization and mass production of the company's electrified powertrain solutions. There is also a 10-minute conference call that was a pretty good listen discussing their future guidance numbers and a full electric product in the works. Hylion's mission is decarbonizing commercial transportation in North America and engineering a revolution in trucking. So that's a quick rundown of the company. Lots of additional information is out there to be found. At the time of this recording, SHLL stock closed at $14.04 going into this week. The stock jumped on the merger news from around $10, which is why a lot of people are comparing it to what happened with the VTIQ and Nikola merger. More and more people are following Tortoise Acquisition Corp on stock twits, and in my opinion, SHLL will be another popular name with the trading world based on my early research of spotting trends. Please be careful with this type of stock since the trading volume will probably be very high as more and more headlines hit the news since it's a company that will be compared to Tesla stock and Nikola stock. For this episode, let's get a conversation going. Based on your early research, what are your thoughts on SHLL stock? Will everything go to plan with the merger which is planned for Q3 of 2020, which is in the next couple of months? Will Tesla or Nikola fans jump aboard the stock? Or will the bears come out to play and bash Hylion's business model? Are you bullish or bearish? Short term or long term? I'm curious to hear all your opinions in the comments section below. If we get enough comments, I may have to do another video on this one. So click that like button if there's interest in that. To wrap up, let's pull up the stock portfolio that I've been documenting since the beginning of 2020 and during the stock market crash. The stock portfolio started at $0 
and is now a little over $7,400. Yes, I know it's still very small, but luckily there's plenty of time to continue to add more cash to the portfolio. At the time I took this screenshot, the stock portfolio is up over 53% year to date. I primarily focus on long-term trends and then find stocks that match up with my unique goals of growing the stock portfolio sooner rather than later over a long time that matches with my own risk tolerance. Keep in mind, this is one of my stock portfolios and not yours, so always do your own research prior to buying any securities. Never rely on anyone else's opinion but your own. Quick rundown with a brief reason of why I invested in these seven stocks. Fiverr stock, ticker FVRR, I'm seeing a trend of remote work increasing and more and more people in need of freelancers at an affordable price. Apple stock, AAPL, I'm seeing a trend of many people using Apple products, iPhones, Apple Pay, Apple Watches, and the list goes on. The 5G wave is coming, and that's another trend I'm following closely in regards to Apple as a hardware play on the upcoming 5G upgrade cycle. Plus, I get a dividend. Starbucks stock, SBUX, I'm seeing the Starbucks brand continue to expand around the globe and not just in America. I'm seeing a trend of more and more people ordering Starbucks from their phone and being delivered to their home or office. Costco stock, ticker COST, I'm seeing a trend of more and more retail competitors not being able to keep up with Costco's pricing model and recurring subscription model. I personally think online ordering is the future and Costco is in the early stages of growing out its website. I think there's a lot of potential with Costco's e-commerce growth. Square stock ticker SQ. I'm seeing a trend of more and more people download the cash app, which is growing the Square ecosystem bigger and bigger. Over time, I think these customers will be monetized in many ways to grow the top line revenues. I also think CEO Jack Dorsey is on top of innovation and disrupting the financial services and mobile payment industry. And last but not least, my newest stock, which I haven't really discussed since adding it to the stock portfolio, Shift4 Payments, ticker F-O-U-R. I'm seeing a young founder and CEO in Jared Isaacman growing an innovative software company that focuses on processing payments for the hospitality industry with the potential to disrupt other sectors over a long period of time. The company was founded in 1999 and Jared has been at it since 16 years old. I've listened to many interviews and read a lot of numbers over the past couple of weeks since the IPO was announced. Sure. There are other major competitors in this technology sector, but I'm a brand guy and I noticed a lot of big brands are already using Shift4 payments to process payments and have licensed subscriptions to the software. Jared has mentioned that some of Shift4 payments revenue streams are recurring in nature since there are high switching costs and multi-year contracts. I have quite a few notes on this one, so... I'll be working on an entire episode going over some of my thoughts of what I'm seeing with four stocks growth potential. Sure, I was brief with my simplistic approach to explaining my bull thesis with each company in my stock portfolio. Always remember, there's a company behind any stock ticker on your phone or computer. A lot of my thoughts on each stock in my portfolio can be found in earlier episodes. Stocks do go up down and sideways and up to this point the majority of my holdings have been going up i'll be ready when the next sell-off comes will you know what to do when the next correction comes i try to stick with logical reasoning based on what i'm seeing when it comes to investing my money since the stock portfolio is still very small any signs of a pullback are welcomed since i'll be able to add more shares of stock at a lower price compared to today remember We're just getting started. I'm glad to have you a part of the journey from zero to infinity. Let's end it there. Play the music. Maybe I didn't earn your subscription with this episode, but there's always next episode. It's free to subscribe and a couple of my favorite comments from last episode are on your screen. Feel free to watch my earlier episodes of how I'm growing one of my stock portfolios. All my episodes are meant to be watched in order since the stock market is always changing 
and there are always new trends to be found as the weeks tick by. Instagram is Mr. Zero to Infinity. Thanks again for watching. Let's keep building from zero to infinity. You got this. As always, this episode is not intended as investment advice. Do your own research prior to making any investments and do your own fact checking. Read the disclaimer on your screen fully. Remember, all opinions in this episode are mine and mine alone. I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Never rely on any of my information when making investment decisions. Peace.